Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. RK Rottweilers. Going to hit you right off the bat with it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Crack this window. So, today's a good little day. A good little day. We're going to get the puppies moved over to the puppy office out of the, out of the nursery, the whelping room, the whelping box, all that good stuff. So I cleaned this entire room yesterday, my daughter and I actually. We switched everything out, mopped everything, did really good. And let me tell you guys something, the stench walking in here this morning was like a cattle yard, ridiculous. So what that tells me is it's time to go, right? We gotta get them over there, they need more room anyways. Um, plus, mom needs room so that she can find somewhere to lay down when she's still feeding them. Uh, and this box is just too little. They're already attacking her by the time she even gets in the box and she can't actually lay down. So, see, you hear them? Just menaces all of them. Her. 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 So like I said, you see how dirty and nasty that thing is looking. It's smelling like that too. And that's not even 24 hours. So the princess and I, my nugget, we're going to get a couple of them over there. We're going to take two over now and then I'll probably pause it for a second. We'll get the rest of them over there and then I'll let you guys um, check them all out. Hand me one nugget. No puppies. Okay, get one. <laughs> you got the girl? Nice. She's beautiful too. Only one girl. Look at that face. Look at the paws. Look at the paws. They always cross their paws when I pick them up. It's hilarious. But we got the air and everything on over there, so it'll be good. Plus, they'll be able to get them a couple little pans of water in each little pin. Um, gave them some yesterday. They really liked it. Probably get them going on some good um, solid food as well. I'll make sure that I tune you guys in for that one. It's always fun to watch them get their very first meal. Uh, every litter we've had, I've put that out for you guys so that you guys can watch that. It's always fun. Look at him. Yes. And in about a week, uh, we'll probably start getting them out into one of the kennels that I have. Um, you know, because I have the opportunity to wash it really good and bleach it down and all that good stuff and keep them safe. So, yes, yes, I know. Oh, she carries it with such care and love. <laughs> all right guys switch this around all right see we got them all set up again ready to go just got to kick on a couple of the fans the ac is going on like i said here little guy oh you gotta scoot up bubba there you go All right, guys, so we'll pause this out for a second. I'm going to go grab the other three, and then uh, we'll hit the tap back in and let you guys, uh, you know, see them get used to their new little environment, see if we get them, get them rough house in a little bit. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we got them all in there. Of course, first thing they do is start dropping loads. I had to pick up three of them that quick, just from those two. Three from two. Got to love it. What are you guys doing? Check out the room. Oh. 
What are you guys doing? Huh? <laughs> What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Uh. Already with the shoes, huh? Uh-huh. Don't bite me. Yeah, they always act nice for the first minute, don't they? And they turn into terrorists. What? I see you right here. Say hello. What? 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 Oh, you're just going to demand some attention, are you? Hmm. Little fart. <laughs> what do you think you're doing over there, buddy? Huh? Look at this one, he's just non stop. Just knuckleheads. Just knuckleheads. Come on back to the party. You like the party? Oh, you need a bath. Yeah. So I think we'll line that up for a little later. Ooh, you're dirty. You're a dirty little boy. We'll clean you up, buddy. Who are you growling at? See the marks already kicking in. That's a nice little one too. Just little butter balls. Look at that face. Look at that face.
<laughs> Watch it. Don't bite me. Ouch. Little stinker. Yeah, go bite Nugget. Go bite the Nugget. Stop biting me, little turd. He's trying to get that cord, didn't he? <laughs> what? <laughs> you be alright? Get him. Get him, Tiger. Get him. Watching these little fat things run around is hilarious. They just kind of boop, boop, boop. Uh, threw a couple of them on the scales. They are eating well. They are eating well. Like Miss Kathy, Kathy would say, they look like blobs. Little blobs of Rottweiler. It's really cool though. Um, but that's it. That's all for today, guys. Nothing major. Just like I said, bringing them out to their new habitat. Um, Gonna bring mom out here in a little while, let her feed them. And then I'm actually gonna go on ahead and start setting up their uh, solid food. Yelling at me. They're always yelling at me. Everybody yells at me. Everybody just screams and yells at me. Um, but like I said before guys, we do still have some availability on this litter. Um, no, the little lady is gone, I'm sorry. But, um, of course, you know, we got some of the males sitting there and trust me guys, um, you know, I know a lot of people have been looking for females lately, but you know, if you're looking for those males, this is not a litter to miss out on. Um, of course, you know, Butler Kennel Bloodlines, um, you know, the grandfathers on this litter are Hulk and Tank. Uh, yeah. So that kind of speaks for itself right there. Those are, this is, this is the no joke litter for real. Um, you know, both these, both these dogs the last litter too you know what i mean they're sisters so the offspring that they produce i've already seen it and it is it's magnificent it's really nice guys if i needed a male right now i would definitely keep keep one but because they're from my guy and he's still pretty young um i'm not going to keep any for a few years so i'll leave that out there for you guys you guys can you know enjoy and pick one up and you know really be able to enjoy having a big beautiful rottweiler so uh yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in again. We really do appreciate it. I do. I do. I know I say that a lot, but I really do mean that. So, you know, thank you guys for all that. Uh, man, even with the air on, it's hot up here. I'm going to have to kick on some of these fans, too, or turn the air down just a little bit more. Or it could be just because it's 104 outside, right? Oh, also, you know, if you guys, you know, if you guys have dogs outside, you know, just, just keep that in mind. You know, when it gets to these kind of temperatures, if you're down, down here in the deep south where I am, you know, Bring them in, bring them in, um, you know, at least bare minimum to a nice shaded area and throw a fan on them, something like that, you know, hit them with the hose, you know, whatever you can, just bring their, their temperatures down. Um, even without, you know, using up a lot of energy and things like that, they still get really hot. I mean, imagine walking around in 104 degrees with a black fur coat on, you know, it, it gets tough, it gets tough, so. You know, thankfully I have the luxury of being able to bring them all inside. They all have a room, you know, with the AC and, you know, big industrial fan. So, and you guys know I bring them in every day anyways. i um, actually about to bring them in right now because it's that time of day. We're getting right towards the peak of the heat. So they'll come in for about four hours, maybe five. I don't care how long they have to stay in, you know, until that temp drops back down. So, all right, guys, that's it. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. And like I said, if you guys are still looking, make sure you give us a call, 303-250-5669. Um, yeah, and we're, we got them for you. All right, we'll talk to you guys on the next one.
Thank you.